Welcome fire signs, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Welcome to the love reader. And I want to apologize for last month. I was um, in bed rest, so I couldn't do the love readings. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we see open relationship and we see marriages. A whole lot of problem. Some of you are going to be finding out that your partners have been in open relationship and a lot of you, your marriage, um, you're having some sort of an issue in your marriages okay the foundation is that some sort of a um healing is going to be coming in for a couple um some a couple that has uh, um decided to divorce or um decided to separate i see some sort of a healing is going to be coming in for this couple because there was some sort of a negative influence that was affecting this couple so married people, what I'm seeing is um, some sort of information. Some of you um, could be going through divorce or some of you are dealing with some sort of uh, um, documentation. Um, it, it could be that some of you married people are going through some sort of a separation. Could be coming up for you fire sign people. So what we are seeing, who are you going to be dealing with? You are definitely going to be dealing with... Uh, um, the Pisces, a lot of you are going to be dealing with uh, um, the Pisces men. Fire sign people are going to be dealing with Pisces men and especially with fire sign people who are seeing a whole, a whole the Pisces man. You're going to be finding out a whole lot of uh, information about this man and his marriage. OK, um, this man could be also um, getting divorced. So you could be finding this out or you're going to be finding out. A whole lot of information about this man and his um, marriage and also um, how many people this man was seeing at the same time. Then I see 10 and 4, 14. A lot of you are trying to get yourself out of some sort of an open relationship. I see you want to balance out a situation. And I see some of you are going to be choosing for open relationship, dating a lot of people. Um, and I see a whole lot of you who are divorcing. Um, a Pisces Cancer Scorpion man is going to be receiving a whole lot of money. So if you were married to a Pisces Cancer Scorpion man and you're divorcing this person, you're going to be receiving a whole lot of money. I see you happily walking away. Um, so let's look at the first week. The first week, a lot of you are um, deciding um, to end an open relationship. A lot of you were in open relationship and you're deciding to end this. Whatever the issue, the situation, the problem is or was, you're deciding to end this open relationship. You are now wanting to find someone for yourself. And I see um, a lot of you want to start a family and that is the reason why. A lot of you are ending an open relationship because you're husband or wife may have found out what was happening and transpiring. Your marriage is not over, but you decide to step out of this open relationship that you were in. Then in the second week, I see some sort of a situation where some of you who were seeing someone else, your family could have found out. Um, and I see you're going to be choosing for your husband and let this relationship go. So if you were married and is in a, some sort of an open relationship or you were in some sort of an open relationship, you're going to be ending this and let it go and stay in your marriage. In the third week, I see a lot of you are, are um, divorcing and having some sort of a custody battle and divorce issue with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion man. Whoever this man is, I see... When you divorce this man, they, this man have to pay you a whole lot of money. I see you're happy about the, um, you, you're really happy that this man marriage is ended. And I guess it's because you're heartbroken. Um, and it, it is, some of you are happy. Um, but it's as if some of you was the cause of this marriage, this, this man marriage. So fire sign people, um, be aware of the karmas that you create, okay? I see this man is a wealthy man. I see this relationship is not really over. Um, this man is going through a whole lot of problems. 
with his marriage, with um, other people that he's seen. But with your fire sign, people, this relationship is not yet over. Okay? So it's as if the song is, the last song is not sing. So you're still holding on to this man because of financial reason, not because of love. Then in the fourth week, I see a whole lot of information is coming out about a whole lot of money. Now, this married man and his wife, I see his wife is going to be taking him down for everything. And I see you fire sign people are still waiting, waiting to find out what is going to be the result of this marriage. Because you're not letting go of this man because this man was supporting you financially. But I see information is going to be coming out. And I see his wife is laughing because his wife is taking everything. So um, fireside women that was in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion man or woman, whatever is happening, this woman is going to be taking everything. Okay, this woman is going to be making sure that she or he is financial stability, getting out of a marriage. So if you men were married to a water sign person, they are going to be taking you for everything that you have. So be aware of this. A whole lot of information is coming out about this man. This man has been having multiple relationships and a lot of you were not aware of this, but this man has been around the block. When we call around the block, it's about someone who sleeps around and have multiple partners, yet still they're married. And they finance all of these people. And truths is going to be coming out. And a lot of you are going to be surprised. Um, and I see some of you, the wife is going to be... Um, calling you up or the wife is going to be finding some way of communicating with you. And I see some of you, the wife is going to say, yeah, you can have him now, but you won't have a cent because I'm going to take everything. So however this is transpiring, there's some sort of a divorce that is going to be coming in. And this divorce, a whole lot of money is played in this divorce. So how are you the person that is divorcing this person or is this man is divorcing? Because I see the man is in the reverse and whoever this man is, some sort of information is coming out. And I see his wife is laughing going to the bank because whatever this man has done, this man um, has created some issue. Um, and I'm talking about a, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion person. And this man was in a, a whole, whole lot of open relationship. And I see truths are coming out. And you fire sign people are still holding on to this man. Because this man was um, helping you financially. But his wife is looking at you and thinking, well, trust me, it's better you let go. Because when I'm finished, he's not going to have anything to move on. So I see a lot of um, uh, you, especially married people. And people who are getting divorced, um, you know, you got to be aware because if someone, if you have created some sort of a problem for this man to get divorced, this is like karma, ladies and gentlemen. And whatever is transpiring, this man is going to get back at you guys. Whatever it is and whatever is transpiring, this man is going to be getting back at you guys for whatever the reason is and however it's transpiring. This um, man and his wife, and if it's not the man, but it's his wife, is going to get back. A lot of you Aries are, a lot of you fire sign people could be finding yourself involving in some sort of a divorce issue and some sort of a problems um, in this divorce. So be aware of that. Be aware of that because it's going to be coming up and it's going to be transpiring. So um, some sort of a healing is going to be coming in. A lot of you fire sign people are going to be standing your ground and trying to heal some sort of an issue, heal some sort of a relationship problems that has been transpiring. A lot of you fire sign people are going to be choosing to let go of open relationship and look for someone who you can create a family with, which is uh, much better. 
so be aware of this then i see a whole lot of you are having issues in your marriage whether it's uh, the issue is created by financial instability in your marriage so i see your fire sign people are going to be going through that so some of you are dealing with a pisces man and i see some sort of a legal issue so this man, you could be divorcing this man or this man is going to get divorced. Then I see a lot of you are turning your back and choosing to look for someone to build some sort of a stability with. Okay. Then we see that a lot of you really wants to find a really financial stable person in order to create a, um, some sort of a um, relationship or marriage. So I see some of you might be successfully, um, you know, getting involved with a very financial stable man and you're going to be getting married to this person. So a whole lot is going to be transpiring. Um, the Aries and Cancer people or the Aries and water sign um, marriages could be having some sort of an issue that is created or financial instability in your relationship so be aware of this um so um understand how things work and how um karmas are created by you yourself and you need to clear up whatever the karma is so a lot of you um could be open um to meet this really rich um, financial stable man it is going to be coming in. A lot of you are ending your marriage or your divorce is now ending. And I see you are balancing out yourself, finding, um, healing your heart chakra, understanding. A lot of you want to walk away from a marriage, but it's as if because of financial stability, that is why you are still in this relationship or still in this marriage. So a lot of you could be in a relationship, an open relationship with someone else. You want to end it, but you're realizing that uh, because you're not financial stable, you're holding on until um, you are able to um to stand on your two feet so a lot of you are going to be dealing with i see it's people whatever the issue and the situation is that is coming up a lot of you fire sign people are dealing with um pisces people in relationship or in affairs or it's, it's more of relationship so um be aware of this so a lot is going to be transpiring and a lot of you Fire sign people have created karma for um a man and his uh, um relationship is marriage. So what we're seeing is that you young fire sign people, you were in a relationship with a married man and have created some sort of a issue for this person. Fire sign people who are married to waterman men. You're going to be finding out that these men have been um, having um, multiple relationship, open relationship while they were in the marriage with you. And they have been seeing other people. And I see you're going to be realizing how you have been used. Some of you are going to be taking it serious and a lot of sadness is going to be coming up. But at the end of the day, you marry and... Uh, um, you know, I always say to a lot of people before you get married and say that your yeah, word, know what you're getting in. OK, know this person, know this person before you say that. Yes, word, because a lot of you um, just thought you were in love with the person. But a lot of time you are in love with someone, but they're not in love with you. And a lot of people jump um, with their eyes closed in a marriage, in a relationship, not really understanding what is happening and transpiring and a lot of you got hit um you really really got hit because you jump in a relationship and you got it off um because you thought that this person was in love with you and you're realizing that this person um heart was somewhere else so um cheer up it's going to be good not to worry 
um, and learn to love yourself um, before you open up yourself to relationships because relationships are not very hard. People are different. But make sure that the next person that you're going to say the yeah word to is that you know that this person really truly love you. You get to put them through the love test. I love you guys. In order to see the extended author's reading, please like and share these videos. And I'm saying namaste until next time.